Okay, hum 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 is quite a tricky one in our magic flute set of music. However, we can break it down, down into smaller pieces. Try not to worry about um, asking everyone to do it in part. Maybe even just choose your favourite character focus on at first and then take it from there. So we'll break it down a little bit at a time. So the first bit is Papageno, who has had his mouth padlocked shut at this point in our story. And he's desperately trying to communicate with Tamino about what's going on and wants him to set him free. Meanwhile, Tamino hasn't got a clue what's happened and hasn't, hasn't any idea as to what he can do to help Papageno in this situation. So we start on this note and it goes... So we end back on the note that we started on. Now a hmm is quite difficult for anyone to do. So imagine that there's an orange or an apple inside there and you're closing the mouth around it. You should feel the tickle in the lips. So listen again. So if you get the notes absolutely perfect because it is difficult to hum on those notes but the main thing is to communicate Papageno's anxiety at having this padlock and he can't get across what he wants to say. Meanwhile Tamino then enters and sings Oh Papageno I can see you have been commanded not to speak. Here it is again. Oh Papageno I can see you have been commanded not to speak. So it's all very steady. And once again, Papageno then goes. So it's a direct repetition of the opening hum section that we had. Tamino then answers that phrase with. Alas, I'm powerless to free you. The spell is stronger and I am weak. So very similar again to what Tamino sang earlier on with a slight change. Here it is again. Alas, I'm powerless to free you the spell is stronger and I am weak. Papageno then responds with listen again and Tamino follows with I cannot tell so we've got a little tiny interval there so listen again I cannot tell and this is where it gets a little bit confusing because they start to overlap each other, which is why it's best to focus on just one character to start off with. So from I cannot tell, Tamino's next bit goes, how I can help you. So it's gradually getting higher each time. The spell is strong and I am weak. So that whole little section for Tamino from I cannot tell goes like this. I cannot tell how I can help you. The spell is strong and I am weak. Meanwhile, Papageno is going. So each time the hum at the end is going a fraction higher. So we start with the interval of a third and then we move to a fourth. And then we move to a fifth. So we get. Tamina then takes over with. The smell is strong and I am weak. So at that point you stay on the same note and Papageno comes back in with. So it's almost a little variation, so slightly different to what we heard originally. So the main thing with Papageno at this point is focusing on the hmm, making sure that it's a really rounded hmm and really buzzing in the lips. Meanwhile, Tamino over the top of those hums, so this is where our parts cross over, we've got I don't know how to help you speak, the spell is strong and I am weak. So it moves quite quickly at this point. Again, it's very similar to what we've had previously, but it does move along a little bit faster. So this is how it goes. So we've got the spell is strong and I am weak. I don't know how to help you speak. The spell is strong and I am weak. So after Papageno and Tamino 
know, we've had that little conversation between our hmm and pop up back again. Oh, so we've had that little conversation happen. We now get the Queen's servants. So they are miniature versions of the Queen of the Night. And they come in and sing, The Queen of Night has ordered me to break the lock and set you free. So there's a lot going on in this phrase. So let's slow it down and sing it again. The Queen of Night has ordered me to break the lock and set you free. So again, you could just have one group taking each of the characters, or you could just focus on one particular character throughout the whole thing. Meanwhile, we now have a conversation between the Queen of the Night, the Queen of the Night servants, and Papageno. So, set you free. Papageno then answers with, "Now Papageno's free to chatter." So you get the starting note from set you free. Now Papageno's free to chatter. And then the Queen of the Night's servants come in with, but falsehood is another matter. And again, we get a slight overlap here because Papageno comes back in with, I'm done with lying, I repent. Here it is again. I'm done with lying, I repent. And the Queen's servants come back in with, you won't forget this punishment. So again, very similar to what they had at the very start. And then finally, Papageno responds with, I won't forget this punishment. So the two can run straight into each other. You could have, you won't forget this punishment. I won't forget this punishment. So you can easily combine those two characters at that point. Then everyone becomes united in song together for the final section of this piece. So we have the Queen's servants together with Papageno and Tamino. And you can put the harmony parts in if you like, or you can just sing the tune over the top, which is what we're going to have a look at. And it simply goes, A world of love could be created. So here it is again. A world of love could be created. And then... If only lying tongues would cease. So it's important to get those breaks in. If only lying tongues would cease. And then the next bit. Deceit and greed would be frustrated. Now this is really tricky because it's alternating between two really close notes, next door notes. So we've got a semitone interval, half steps. So deceit and greed would be frustrated. Greed would be frustrated. And then we have, and we would lead our lives in peace. So we get a big jump down there on our lives in peace. And then we get similar to what we've had before. Deceit and greed would be frustrated. And we would lead our lives in peace. So I hope that has helped with learning parts of Hum Hum Hum. The main thing to do is focus on a specific character if you are worried. If you can run into the different characters, fine, but don't worry too much about the overlapping parts. The easiest bits to focus on is Tamino's section, purely because there's words to help you remember it. The melody is slightly trickier, but it's easier to remember because of the words. Um, also, the Queen's Servant section is quite easy to learn, together with the final closing statement of A oh, World of Love. With Papageno, the tricky bit is getting the pitches right with the hum hum hum, but don't worry too much about that. The main thing is to communicate the expressions on each of these three different characters. Remember, Papageno really hasn't got a clue what's going on. His mouth has been padlocked. He's really, really scared. So show that in the facial expressions. Meanwhile, Tamino, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do for the best and he can't help out. Meanwhile, the Queen's servants are there saying, I hope you have learned your lesson. So have lots and lots of fun with hum, hum, hum and explore each of these characters from the magic flute.